Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Abandoned Ship. So... I don't know where I'm going, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere up north. It's uh... I played a few games in between this one, so... But I wanted to come back because I really enjoy this game. I have no food either, so I have no idea what's going to happen when we... Is that going to take 18? Oh, is that going to take 18 food and 17 happiness? And 7 happiness. Ah, I'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen, right? Oh. Oh god, it's raining. Oh well. Ooh, lots of events. Uh, have any of you got any food? You spot a ship in the middle distance. At the deck, a bristle with lookouts. Seems like this vessel has serious cargo on board. Mm. Eh? We need we need the stuff. I do apologize, but we definitely need the stuff. They have rams. So let's uh, spikes. So let's not ram them. Ram them. Oh, it's first thing in the morning. My brain isn't working. Oh, it's left click, isn't it? Bye. <laughs> Never get all this one again. Uh, let's make sure those cannons are out of business for a little while. Ow. Oh god. We have a hole. Uh, oh, I'm guessing they don't have a winch. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, so, Mortar Man, you go fix that. Spare navigator. I'm gonna hit the sails again and hopefully jump over. Here we go. Oh god. We've got another hole. Oh. Oi! You wanna go help out as well, Mr. Navigator? We need your booty! <laughs> your, cr your crew return from the enemy vessel, grins wide, arms laden with rations and curios. That's exactly what we need. Wonderful. Everyone's a little happier, I'm a little richer. Through your spyglass, you can see a ship in distress. It appears to have sustained battle damage and is taking on water at an alarming rate. We're gonna go help them, right? As soon as your ship is in range, your crew leap across and begin patching up hull cracks and pumping out water. Soon they have the situation under control. The captain is understandably very grateful for your timely intervention and transfers across some valuables as a reward. More money! I will take all of the money. Oh wow, so many events. Oh, I need to do ten to get... Oh no, I don't... I need to get ten to go backwards. You sail close by to a strangely empty looking vessel. On closer inspection it does have a crew, but they're emancipated and immobile. Let's help my food. Ah, screw it, I want to see what happens. Oh. You feel terrible for the poor souls and spare some non-essential supplies. They seem pretty essential. The other crew devour them, but you wonder if they'll have the strength to safely reach a port. Still, they thank you profusely, and your crew approve of your prudence. I need food. <laughs> your lookout calls down from a crow's nest. The ship has been seen in the distance. More details are shouted about the incoming ship. On face value, it seems you are more powerful of the two. Still, it is far enough away that taking flight is possible. Engage! What kind of armaments has it got? Not much is the answer to that question. It's a sloop. Oh. Why can I fire this one but not this one? Yeah. Uh. Oh, I thought we were going at each other then. Like they're going around me. Uh. 
I pressed the wrong button again, didn't I? God damn it! Is my medic getting any better at firing guns? Yes, she is. Hey, get ready, lads. Kill him. Poke him with a sticky end. Or well, the pointy end. The sticky end might not be that helpful. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope they have some food. The enemy was either brave or foolish to tackle something more powerful. You salvage any useful materials. Money. Well, I guess I can buy more food with money, so it's not the worst thing to pick up. Is that a port? Yeah. You hadn't really paid much attention to the other ship until they began signalling that they surrender. It's not like you were acting particularly aggressive, but they must have assumed the worst and wished to avoid any conflict. Uh, Zoink. We need this more than you do? The ship was loaded with supplies, so you took a selection of them from the hold of the other vessel. From the hold of the other vessel. It seems the crew of the other ship are well versed in these sorts of transactions as they keep out of your way and avoid triggering any confrontations. Hmm. I was going to say something racist then and decided against it. <laughs> Your crew look at the port expectantly. They are already planning on where they will spend their money during shore leave. Let's have a look at the shops. I forgot that was a double shot instead of just a normal. A whole, crack a whole cracking cluster bomb. No hull damage. Moderate chance of causing cracks. Can't be fired against sea creatures. Uh, I might as well repair all for seven dollars or seven gold. What kind of upgrades can we get in here? Ooh, heavy old pla hull plating seems nice. Harpoons also seem kind of cool, but how do you fire them? One way of finding out. Can't afford the armor plating now. Oops. I'm just going that sell that for. 25. Not enough. Mm, do we need food? No, we don't need food. Uh, don't really need any more crew. Oops. So that's eight to go that way. I don't think we need to go that way. I'm not sure if there is a correct path or you can take like a longer path to get to where you need to go or. Not sure. Oh, free money. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Let's see how these harpoons work, so... That would be nice. I assume it just locks the other ship into place. Is that a ship wreck? Let's have a look. You sail close to land and spot what looks like a wooden scraps of ships. The current pins... The current pins most of the debris close to the rocks. That the ship is likely to run a foul up. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> your crew managed to skillfully navigate the treacherously rocky waters, collecting what valuable materials remain. Good job, lads. Six out of ten. I'm gonna have to fight the Kraken or the cult ship or whatever it is. I think there is one thing I wanted to change actually. My default distance. I want it to be point blank. I don't know if I have to save that or not. We'll find out. You get that telltale feeling, an ache at the back of your mind. You've felt this before and you know what's coming. You call up the lookout for the crow's nest to confirm your suspicions. Halifron, making a direct line for your ship. There's still some way away enough for you to do something about it. Yeah, we don't have mortars, so... Halifron! Let's fight the Halifron. I kind of want everyone doing something. There we go. Oh dear, somebody's getting their ass kicked. Let's. There we go. Oh, 
Oh god. So I find out they're gonna blow up. Oh, none of them blew up. You stand there, bent over your vest and your breath, you've won. You can't help but wonder if next time it will be worse. Nah, we're fine. Surgeon is earning his money. How big is this area? Ooh, pretty big. A grim realizes tissue, something is coming. Oh, that's the Gracken. God damn it. Da, run, 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 run away. Run, 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 run away. Run, run. Yeah. I mean, he could have run that way, but nah, would be right. As long as he doesn't ruin my ship, we're all good. Well versed in fighting the Kraken now. I need to wait for the maneuvering bar to come up before I can do anything, so. It's just going to be a case of holding them off till we can get it going. Any minute now. He just got whomped. Oh, there was another one. There we go. Okay, can I run now? Yes, go. Faster, Mr. Whatever the hell your name is, I can't remember. Oh, Turin. Huh, I really need to name my crew. I meant to do it ages ago, I just forgot about it. Everyone is hacking it up. Oh, no, that's a gun. This is really fiddly. We're almost there. Run. If I have to do this one more time. Come on. Yeah. And we're away! Activate the jet drive! You've wounded the creature and escaped. Somehow you feel in your bones that the Kraken will need time to recuperate before it resumes its hunt. You should not dally. It'll be fine, right. A vessel bearing pirate insignia is fast closing down another ship. It doesn't seem like their prey has long left. Noticing you, the pirate signal for you to mind your own affairs and be awarded for it. No. Back off. The rescue crew are visibly overcome that you decided to help them. They give you what they can from their stores. 33 food, hello. A flock of seabirds dive rapidly into se into succession. Oh, rapidly in succession into nearby waters. A sure sign a school of fish is close to the surface. You sail close and your crew are shortly pulling up bulging nets. Sweet, even more food. Well, not so well. We've gone from starving to not starving. Maybe I should give my food away more often. You pass close to a stationary ship. Only, it seems totally abandoned. All is not right here. Your crew plumb the depths of the ship. Minutes later, they emerge at a sprint, yelling, NEST! IT'S A NEST! Before you can act on their information, scores of Halifron burst onto the deck. After them, some leap straight onto your ship. Crap. Let's just put the medic over here. I think I could zoom in a little bit. Make it easier to click on the guys. But... Oh, well. uh oh. You dare not linger in case any more are drawn to defend their nest. You cut loose quickly and you flee the area. Yeah, makes sense. Let's go.
Oh, I have enough events to leave the area now. It's, uh, I kind of want to see if there's any more stuff. So I'm here, so I need to go north. So that's what I will do. But uh, I don't want to miss out on any free goodies. There's about to be something hidden away here, right? I've got a fair bit of money. I might go back to the shop. But then again, I don't know if I'm going to need money for something. Hmm. Ah, I'm sure I won't need money. Who needs money? Let's just uncover this area. I wonder if there's a way of improving your sight on the map. Because a bigger sight would sure make this go a lot quicker. If I don't find anything, I will be slightly bitter. Just, just a little bit. God damn it! It's not looking good, is it? Ah well. My OCD would be incapable of understanding why I didn't do it. Okay, let's go to the north. Preferably before a cult ship comes to a kick my ass. It's coming. Halifron. No. No Halifron. Bye bye. Moving to a new area confused the Halifron, allowing you to escape. Wonderful. Ooh, this is nice water. Landfall was the first major colony set up by settlers from the Empire and fast grew into their capital. It remains one of the only islands to still keep the old ways since the Empire fell. It is therefore safe from the cult's influence for now. The vaulted college here is home to the remnants of the artificers and remains the greatest repository and seat of learning in the known world. Sounds like a sweet place. Time to do standard recon. <laughs> I clicked off the screen there for a second. I love this frame. So cool, it makes it look like you're in a, a photo frame. Oh my god, this area is huge. Okay, I'm just going to assume the thing I need is in the middle, so maybe I should just go do that. But I can at least scout the doors that are all locked, apparently. Yeah, we're locked in until we do the storyline, I guess. Okay, let's go find landfall. Shoe is going to be in the middle. There you go. Wow, that's a cool looking place. As you get closer to the port, you see a hustle and bustle on the docks. A welcoming sight. What upgrades you got here? Another tackler. Now we, we don't need two. Mm, what upgrades you got? Do we already have a winch? Yes. Ooh. Provides maximum visibility on the on the enemy ship and crew in combat. Reveals more fog of war in exploration mode. Yes, please. For a hundred gold, that seems really good. Sweet. Yet again, can't afford the armor now. God damn it! I mean, I could sell some food. Seems like a bad idea. Let's visit the Great Library anyway. You've never been to Landfall before. It's quite spectacular. The vaulted college looms atop the island's greatest plateau, and a mossy but still serviceable path meters up to it. You arrive at the imposing, aging but still elegant complex. You soon track down the correct wing, and an artificer there greets you disdainfully. I am Voltaire. What knowledge must you seek? She asks. It was a woman? Hmm. Uh, the tone of her voice and the arc of her eyebrow matching, making it clear she is following the bare minimum of custom. Ask about the Kraken. She is taken back. There is often truth to, sailor, to sailors' tales, but no proof exists of this one. Some kind of large whale is what you most likely saw. I think the mind-healing wing may be better destination for you. 
I have seen one, fought one. I must find a way to make it surface so I can kill one, and then you will have proof. If such a thing were to exist, or a monstrous whale, for example, how would one encourage it to surface? Hmm. I mean, this just makes me seem mad. I mean, anyone who hasn't seen the Kraken, so let's, let's do this one. Hypothetically speaking, well, whales will surface with time. If time is not something you have, then a huge blast of pressure beneath or very close to it should make it surface. And how would one go about exploding something underwater? Any timed fuse would instantly be put out. You seem to have appealed to her analytical mind at least. Well, sad tale. There was once an empire mining interest on an island, barren on the surface but astoundingly rich in minerals below. The miners discovered a deep vein of metal but learned the very hard way that it reacted violently with water. Half of the mountain was vaporized. Some of the miners on the colony survived, but have since become a somewhat unhinged people who seem to thrive on fatalism of staying somewhere an errant rivulet would, could revolt in an explosive end. I believe they call the place Devil Rock now. I've even heard rumors of them using nuggets of Devil's Rock to fish, a barbarically risky but effective method. Of course, they don't like outsiders, and haven't been forthcoming in donating any for research. Let me show you on your chart. If you happen to pay them a visit, I'd be indebted if you could bring some back. If you could bring back some samples. Okay, well, that seems really cool. Uh, hmm. How much is the new ship? We have a schooner now, right? Or do we have a brig? Oh, we have a brig. Oh, a sloop. Oh, it's got a cutter, not a sloop. I was incorrect. What's the difference between a brig and a... Oh, it has higher health. It has the same amount of captain. Yeah, that's what we need. A galleon? Okay, so... Let's go, I suppose. Uh, there's nothing here for me. But where is Devil's Rock? That's the question. Over here. So, so we want to go north or east. North or east should sort it. I don't think there's going to be any events here, so... If there is, I'm sure I'll accidentally come across one. Oh. God damn it. You're approaching a vessel. Your course is set to cross. The set of its sails, the strong wake, all telltale signs. The ship is heavy laden with cargo. Mm. Danger flags. Investigate the signals more closely in parlay. As soon as you're within range, the other ship's captain bellows out to you. A wise person would choose not to attack a ship transporting gunpowder. What sort of person are you? Well, that could have ended badly. His crew hoist up a few barrels to illustrate his point. This is not a bluff you're willing to call. You give the order to sail on. What kind of moron are you? <laughs> oh dear. Let's not piss off the man who's got more gunpowder than anything else. It's a good bluff, though. I mean, he could have literally just had two barrels of gunpowder and just show them to us and be like, yes, we've got loads of this under the, under the blow yeah, under the deck Comorants often provide sailors with telltale signs of shallow fish you spot a few diving repeatedly into a patch of the ocean, your crew take a hint hauling an egg, fine catch that's two out of eight at least so there are some around here, there's just not many ah, hello you fish the body of a castaway out of the water. You can never tell whether they're unconscious or dead. Unfortunately, this one's long gone, his body beginning to show signs of rotting from beneath the water too long. You check him over, you see a beautiful piece of jewellery locked in his death grip. Bit grim. At least it didn't uh, demoralise the crew. <laughs> I mean, technically we saved him, right? Kind of. I mean, he was already dead. What does he care? Let's just go down here before I do that event. 
Yeah, okay. Right. Your ship is on course to pass by a vessel of uncertain origin. It sits low in the water. It must be heavily laden with cargo. Oh, hello. That's like a... Looks like a Chinese ship or like a, an Eastern ship at least. Uh-oh. Here they come. Please don't ram me. Oh, God. Who can we get rid of? Captain? Bye. <laughs> oh, they've got a winch. I can see the winch. It's an automatic winch as well, I think. Come on. Let's get nice and close. Nice and close. Ready for a boarding party? <laughs> Not quite. Almost. Almost there. I think. Eh. Closer. I'm guessing the spikes are stopping us from going over there. We might have to do this the hard way. Ah, no, there we go. Away we go! Where's my medic? Get her out of combat. She's now the only one in combat. Well, mortar man might as well help. Uh oh. This is getting a little bit sketchy. There we go, it's fine, don't worry. You bask in the aftermath of a hard-fought hard victory as your crew haul back crates of provisions. This time, at least, it was well worth the risk. We didn't take barely any damage either. Wow. Cool. Some freak of natural selection, and the ship's conditions have bred a horde of huge ravenous rats that have grown bold enough to take the road. Oh god damn it, they're still in my food again. Ah. Just I was thinking we have lots of food, we'll be fine. Well, at least it was an event. At least the cult aren't following us here. There are advantages. Aha. A ship jets up at an unnatural angle. Having run aground on a large rock, it looks abandoned. Uh oh. A shrill yell echoes around the ship. Your men have found something. It's the ship's crew, or their bodies at least. Murdered in cold blood, most likely. No struggle, hands bound. This is the most gri is a most grim picture. You quickly order everyone back to the ship, but the news spreads and your crew are clearly shaken. Oof. God damn it, we're running a bad luck right now. Money! Food. A swarthy group of adults and children are scouring the nearby rock pools while the tide is far out. They chisel limpets off rocks and expertly scoop their meat into large buckets. It looks like exhausting work and they'd no doubt be delighted to guarantee some quick trade. I don't have a lifeboat. Leave them be. You find a lifeboat <laughs> drifting in the sea. The crew stand by the rail, attentively watching it approach. The closer to the lifeboat drifts, the more obvious it becomes that there is only one survivor on board. He's been driven mad. 
Whether this was through extended isolation or the events that led him being on the lifeboat are unknown. While he looks harmless enough, his mental condition means he is unpredictable and potentially a danger to the crew. Orders, Captain. I will bring him aboard. The survivor barely acknowledges anyone, as he is gently ushered into the area of the ship where he can wait until he can be dropped off. You've done a good thing, but you wonder if the survivor is too far gone to notice. Well, at least he didn't, like, pull a knife and start stabbing people. That would have sucked. I think... I have done most of this area now. Oh, it's just a little bit, a little bit there. So, this seems like a perfect place to end the episode. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. And I'll see you next time.